That's what that's what they said. Wow. I doubt that myself. But... <laughs> What's that? I hope you hear the birds chirping and stop. They're gonna freak out, man. Yeah. Every, everything freaks out. Yeah, yeah, I've never been. I don't think I've ever been totally close. I, there was one in '83. But I don't know what how much that was. And I was in Minnesota at that time. Yeah, I was in Africa, Africa. so I remember being Such out in, in sixth grade. And they had us do the, the shoebox through the pin I don't know what, what uh, amount that was. See, I've never even done it. So what, what are you what are you actually seeing? When you look through this no, I mean I'm talking about the shoebox. Well you're you're, you're just it's just a hole. Sure, seeing. No, it's just a hole. A hole of light. Yeah. And, and I have a white blanket over here. Uh, it's sitting over there, and it's gonna hopefully. You know, I want it to be in the break-up shade of a tree okay. because every hole, when the, when the eclipse is happening, every hole that the sun comes through shows that eclipse. So if you're standing here in whatever, whatever spot where there's light, right, when it's the eclipse is happening. isn't just a light, it's some kind of a fire. It's like, kind of every, like a magnet. You yeah. take a magnet, break a magnet, every yeah. beam yeah. becomes a yeah. north or south. That's north right. Of, so every light, break of yeah. light, has its, creates its own. Um, so, yeah. 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 Yeah, that's... I was following a guy on YouTube for a while that he died, uh, Antonio Superrats. He, uh, he, he was very... Very well versed in, in what the sun is. He said that was a fiber optic nexus. That's what he said. He has very good explanation. He's dead now. Oh, yeah. yeah. And if they take him down, I, I've got him. every one of them saved. He used to do live streams now. Funny guy from Spain. That's where he was from. Spanish accent, uh, but uh, funny. He was a funny guy. Uh, he he had a book that he put out. It was called the Book of the Sun. Super yeah. Yeah. Antonio Superbats. She 
claims that he raped her. Jeez. Yeah. It, yeah. yeah. Oh, that was one of the big things they said about Platter. Nobody can get their story straight. They always wanted to fight. Well, and you know, to a degree, that's what I've seen. Mm -hmm. Just from my own personal experience, that's what I've seen. Uh, I, I guess the guy you're talking about.
Yeah. <laughs> you think they're going around yeah. over yeah. stupid stuff. You think they're going to let you get serious about science? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You see it? They want some chips. <laughs> Supposedly translated from the mm-hmm. Yeah. So, um, in there, it talks about the gates of the sun and the gates of the moon. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. First of all, go back to go back to the. This is what I tell people. You got to understand the context in which something was written. First of all, you need to know when it was written and what was the original language it was written in. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because I lived in Africa. 20 years, and there are tribes that do not have, they don't have a name for this. There is no name for a tribe. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. There's no name right, for it. Right, right. Yeah. Okay. So, they, they may not have a name for, let's say, gate. That, that does not translate out of their language into English, because mm-hmm. they would call it a passage. Or, yeah. or, or something different, you know, mm-hmm. a throughway or whatever. They call or it something. fence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're not going to have a name for that. So you have to, you have to figure, you have to understand the context in which it was, you know, the time. Right. That it was written. Um, the context in which it was being written was, in other words, was the guy writing it or translating it for a monetary purpose, mm-hmm. or was it truly to, you know, was it, you know, was it an edifying? Economically motivated, in sure. Why? In which you, you need to know all these things to find out the truth. And if you don't have all that, you're not going to know the truth. Right. And so I, you know, I dealt with it. He talks about the sun disappearing into its gates. He mm-hmm. and disappearing into its gates. Right. And how they have separate gates, different gates. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's very. So you, you go. Right? <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, no, I think I think Enoch was pulled out of the cannon just for that reason. Mm-hmm. Oh, absolutely. Question silence. Well, not only that, but I mean, he was, I mean, he was given the language of the archangels mm-hmm. in, in order to communicate with them. So, okay, so what happened to that? And he would, you, would you go to a Bible scholar and say Enoch? That's all you got to say to him. Uh, yeah. Enoch. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the only one, the only person that has never died is Enoch. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you start, you know, it, yeah. it, it's funny how, like I said, 
generational stupidity. They have uh -huh. done it on purpose. It's been a plan from the beginning of time. Yeah, yep. You know, when when the Bible was written, okay, and, and Paul and John and everybody penned the Bible. Do you know what the the literacy rate of the world as a whole was? Yeah. <laughs> right. Less than one yeah. percent. Oh yeah. Sure. So so less than one percent could read and write in their own language. Okay. So and you wonder why things were told in a parable form. Mm -hmm. That's right. why. Yeah. They told them in a parable form so that people could remember them. Sure. Because they couldn't write, they couldn't read or write. Yep. Um, but you, you know, you tell someone, oh, yeah. Yeah. conspiracy. I'm like, yeah, the conspiracies right. I was talking about 30 years ago aren't conspiracies anymore. Right. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. seriously. I know. Everything I had told people. They looked at me like I had horns growing out of my head yeah. years ago. Yeah. Guess what now? Yeah. I mean, I don't know how you feel about all that, but... No, I'm very interested in it. I, as a matter of fact, I'm very interested in all... 77 books of the Bible. Because yeah, I've never been... Uh-huh. Yeah. I mean, there's... And there's the Book reason. of Jasher. Mm -hmm. the, I think there's eight or nine different books of Adam and Eve. Well, if you're a Lutheran, you actually go, go through the Catechism mm -hmm. and you learn all these other books that they don't have in the Bible. Oh, really? Yeah, you didn't know that? No. Oh, yeah. I go to a Lutheran church and say, oh, yeah, man, I want to get, you know, I want to be a Lutheran. I want to they let you know about it. They will send you to a class where it's Catechism class or something like yeah, that. I've heard, that. Yeah, I've heard kids do When you go to that, Maybe the first week, maybe the second week, maybe the third week. And you stay there. They will introduce new books in the Bible to you. Hmm. And that was just about Luther. Hmm. That was why they. Well, that's weird that they. They crucified the hell out of him. Catholics. Like Catholics are Lutherans. Like Lutherans. Because Lutherans. They would send you the books that they expose you to. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's what the kids in the neighborhood. <laughs> uh, I gotta go to the catechism. Hey, you wanna go play baseball? Let's go to the catechism. Yeah. Oh, I gotta go to the catechism. Yeah. Whatever they call it, I can't remember what it is. But I think that's what it was. I, I, made, I made it easy to call it. I know the Lutheran kids. I made it easy to call it. That was their deal. And yeah, it was always Sunday afternoon for good asking them to do anything. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy. Yeah. And they say some sun losers? You know about sun losers? No. A window. Uh, I think it's two hours of sunrise and two hours of sunset. Or sun gazers will stare at the sun. You know, the nutrients. Sun. If you and they, this is a big thing for them. They'll sit and stare right at this. What? They say that it's going to hurt your eyes. It actually does something very, very good for your eyes. They say, but the sun gazers, they look forward to these eclipses that will stare at the sun and get extra energy or something. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, they're all, I've met a oh couple of sun gazers that when you talk to them, they'll just sit there and just stare at the sun. Like that, while you're talking. Well, I mean, let's say that it'll burn the corn out of your eyes, man. That's what they say. Maybe it gives you... Maybe it, and you know, yeah, maybe, maybe it clears your mind. Yeah. Yeah. You know? They don't want you to stare. Man, I just looked at the sun. That's what happened. Oh, dude, <laughs> I can't do it. Dark glasses. These are dark as these are as dark as a prescription as they'll make. They can't make. Yeah, the more the more you dig into the more truth that the they say sunglasses you should never wear sunglasses. You can be transformed into sunlight. Right. Mine is just man, it's so bright. I know. I know. Because I got you know I got blue eyes. You got blue eyes. They're sometimes blue, sometimes green. I tried to do it. 
point. That's why I set up right here on these clovers. Oh, yeah, yeah. But then now I see that there's honeybees hitting them. I don't want to ruin the flowers for the honeybees. So I put my shoes back in. <laughs> Say it in the rocks. <laughs> well, I went one summer, I think right after graduation, the entire summer I had to wear shoes. My feet were just just You could walk around any kind of sharp rock. You just walk around. Yeah, it took about two months for it to harden up, but why did it really come out? That was nice. That was so nice to have a shirt. That's like, and a shirt too. I never, never put yeah, a shirt on. Went in, had, matter of fact, you go to a place and they say no shirt, no shoes, no shirt, no service. So I would have sandals. I would sit on and then our shirts. We took our shirts and just cut a little slit here, here, up around the neck. I think that was it. Just hop around, just a little slip. You know, it was like a little t-shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they go, can't wait. They couldn't say anything. <laughs> it's a shirt. It's a really small shirt. That's just the stupidest thing. You know, and I'm going to tell you right now, in a survival situation, that is the stupidest thing you can do. Unless your feet are tough. Yeah. It doesn't matter. No. You cut you could the bottom of your foot yeah, on the You can't see through yeah. the snow. Now what? Right. They had a... Uh, oh, I was working for that. Uh, rock stars, too. I was laying in bed last night thinking you know, I was going to go rounding today. Mm -hmm. Rock stars that I, I remember meeting that never wore shoes. Tom Petty. Yeah. Hardly ever wore shoes. Yeah. Paul McCartney. I can vouch for that because my brother was to jam Really? Yeah. Yeah, when, they, when he was down to Gainesville. I don't. Yeah. I mean, he was barefoot every time. time. Yeah, every time my, yeah. Every time my brother There's jammed. something to that. Why would they be barefoot? Yeah. <laughs> feel, feel the beat better. Mm -hmm. you or something being released right by, you know yeah and then but I, then I thought about my fa my my favorite guy he's an independent guy and he I've never seen him without I've been to hundreds of his shows and I've never seen him without a cowboy boots on he's always got cowboy boots on what's his name Roger Klein KL CL CL yeah. okay he used to be the band used to be the Refreshments. Okay. They did a song called Banditos that used to be on the radio, like their only radio play song. What are we talking about? What year? What years? Ninety-four, ninety-five, oh, so probably. Nineties. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, the cartoon King of the Hill. Yeah. They do the opening song for that. Oh really? The Refreshments did that. Oh okay. Yeah. Since then, they've broken up. They don't have that same band, but now he's Roger Klein and the Peacemakers is the name of the band. They just, they're independent. They do their own thing. One of my favorite bands. So. Out of Arizona. Tempe, Tempe, Tempe Arizona. So if you were going to, like, can you even, can you quantify whether most flat earthers being left or being right? Politically? Yeah. It, it, does it seem to be that there's a, a division mm -hmm. that takes place? In there? Or, or do they all lean one way or do they all tend to lean another way? Or Most do of them don't. A lot of a lot of the bigger name ones are not political at all. They think it's all absolute shit show. Yeah, know? well, it is. <laughs> yeah. yeah, most of them yeah, are, are more along the lines of a creator, not necessarily God, but a creator. And Political is just a nightmare. Yeah. That they won't, they won't follow any. They just think it's all a shit show. You know. Well, it is. It is. Yeah. It's a shit show. Mm -hmm. 
unfortunately, that shit should happen in the world of country. Right. So, yeah. uh, you know, I don't, I don't know. Yeah. I, you know, you, you, can, you can turn your eye to it, bury your head in the sand like an ostrich or whatever you want to do. Unfortunately, they have control. And, you know, not, not, not that me and you are going to make a damn bit of difference in anything that happens. But, uh, I don't know, as a collective, I guess. It, 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 you know what it ends up being? Honestly. The lesser of two evils. Yeah. That's all yeah. it is. Yeah, of course. That's all yep. it is. It's yep. the lesser of two evils. Yep. That's all that's all you end up with. Um, yeah, yeah, there's no good. There's yeah, it's just evil like, and really evil. And really evil. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So for me it's just uh, <laughs> No, I was just wondering if there was a uh, if if you could see a uh, Shift one way or the other as, as a general, not, yeah. And most of them this, or most of them that. Not really. Most of the shift I I would imagine would be religiously or spiritually, I guess. But then that goes the same way with political. It's, you know, saying political is not left and right anymore. It's good and evil. It's a spiritual right, thing right, now. Right. And I can kind of understand that. It's, Push that button for me. Push that white button for me. Yeah. See what it does. They took it. 